Okay, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at creating a phrase and searching in the UA Libraries catalog and I'm going to demonstrate how using the quotation marks benefits in creating a phrase search. So let's say we're doing a research on uh, fracking and I wanted to find a book on the broader topic of energy independence. So let's go ahead and just do a phrase search without putting the uh, quotes around that phrase. So let's see what happens if I just type in energy independence and do a search in the library's catalog and let's take a look at our results in reverse chronological order. So let's say I really want a recent book. So now I have some results here and what I'll find if I start taking a look at some of these results uh, let's take a look at the full record, is that when I look at my keywords and context, since I did not enclose my phrase into with quotation marks, I'm not going to have those words uh, right next to each other in proximity of each other. They're going to be spread out throughout the entire uh, record. Let's take a look at the second one the Student Atlas of World Politics. When I look at the full record here, I'll see that my words that are in red have independence by itself and then energy by itself. Okay, let's go ahead and do the same search, only this time I'm going to enclose uh, my phrase in quotation marks and I should get better results this time. They should be uh, exactly as I typed them in. So let's see here, let's take a look at this first one, the American political economy uh, in global perspective. When I look at the full record now, I'll find that the table of contents has a chapter that has energy independence and you'll see it's exactly in the order that I want, exactly as I typed it in. Let's go ahead and look at another one. Let's look at the second item on my list. Look at the full record and I'll see that it's one of the chapters is on energy independence uh, and security act. Okay. Now what you want to do is make sure that you don't put your phrase in too long. Uh, so if I go ahead and put in energy independence because of fracking and enclose that in quotation marks, I probably won't get very many results. In fact, I get no results. So what you'll want to do is make sure that you keep your phrases short, usually two or three words is best, enclose them in quotation marks, and you should get some successful results.